Good morning, grade 8. So, this is our first lesson for this week. So, identifying rational expressions. So, actually, um, I've already discussed this topic to you during our pre-online class. Okay, kung natatandaan pa yung ating dry run. So, our objective for this topic is to identify rational algebraic expression, evaluate rational expression, find the value of the variable that makes the rational expression undefined. So, rational expression, it is a ratio of two polynomials provided that the denominator is not equal to zero. Okay? And then, it is in the form of A over B, where A and B are polynomials and B is not equal to zero. So, dito kay rational expression, hindi pwedeng yung ating denominator is mag-equal sa zero kasi magiging undefined po ang ating expression. And then, lagi pong tatandaan na ang A natin and B or ang numerator and denominator natin, it should always be a polynomial. Para masabi natin na ito ay rational expression din. Ayan siya. So, rational expression is equals to yon Polynomial and then non-zero non polynomial. Ayan yung sinabi ko kanina na dapat si numerator and then si denominator is a polynomial. And then, si denominator should not be equal to zero. Ayan siya. So, a general rule on rational expression... So, para, not, um, para ma identify natin easily if the given expression is irrational, so tatandaan lang itong rules natin. So, first, no variable must be part of radicand or part of the denominator. Second, variable, um, no variable must be negative, must have negative, zero, or fractional exponent. Okay? And then, ayun yung um, sinabi ko rin, na denominator should not be equal to zero because it will become undefined. So, let's have an example for you to understand it. So, identify whether the given expressions are rational expression or not. So, ito po sa ating first, ano natin, yan, labas ko muna lahat. So, sa ating letter A muna, sa ating first expression, as you can see, um, yan, yung ating numerator is A, polynomial. But, tignan nyo po yung denominator, di ba? Ang sabi doon, bawal tayong magkaroon ng fraction sa denominator po. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, it is not a rational expression. And then, second, sa letter B natin, yung numerator natin, um, meron siyang exponent na negative. So, ibig sabihin, dun pa lang, malalaman na natin na hindi siya polynomial. And syempre, kapag hindi polynomial yung isang expression, automatically, it is also not a rational expression. So, for letter C naman, um, ayun din. So, yung, yung exponent ng ating numerator is raised to a fractional form po, which is wrong. So, di ba dapat, hindi tayo pwede magkaroon ng zero exponent, negative exponent, as well as fraction exponent, fractional form exponent po. So, ibig sabihin, not rational expression din yan. And then, sa letter D naman, so, ayan na, nakita nyo na siya agad na meron tayong fraction um, exponent sa ating numerator. And then, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, bawal po magkaroon ng um, variable sa loob ng ating radicand. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, it is not a rational expression. Next, so, dito naman, so, 2y plus 2x plus 4 over 2x minus 2x. So, dito, it is also not a rational expression because when we simplify the denominator 2x minus 2x, it will become 0. So, di ba, ang sabi ko kanina, bawal tayo magkaroon ng 0 denominator kasi magiging undefined yung ating given expression. So, syempre, yung last natin, letter F, 3x plus 5y is a polynomial so, basically, it is a rational expression din. ba? Kapag polynomial, rational expression din siya. So, next, rational algebraic expressions can be evaluated the same way as algebraic 
expressions are. So we just simply substitute the given values of the variables and solve the expression. So kapag nag evaluate naman tayo ng rational expression, given na si values, given na si yung value ni x, y, or any variable. Okay? So you just have to substitute the given values to the um, expression or to the variables po. So for example, we have 2x plus 3y over xy where x is equals to 2 and y is equals to 3. So si x substitute lang natin kay, ayan, substitute natin siya as 2. Ayan siya. So 2 times 2 na siya and then si 3, ayan, 3y siya and then ang value ng ating y is 3 din. So 2 times 2, 4 and then sa kabilang side naman is 3 times 3 is 9. So 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. And then yung denominator natin, ganun din. Substitute si value ng x and y. So 2 times 3 po, which is equal to 6. So 13 over 6, yung ating answer. Or we can um, si still simplify this. So pwede natin siya i-transform into a mixed number. It will become 1 and 2, 6. Okay? So, pwede rin naman na, pwede namang 13 over 6 na lang yung sagot. It's up to you po. Okay? So, pwede nyo siyang i-mix number, pwede rin namang hindi. As long as naka-simplest form na po yung improper fraction nyo. Ha? Ganun siya. Next. Ayan. Another example ito naman. Ang variable lang natin dito is m lang. So, ibig sabihin, ang m, uh, and then ang value ng ating m is 5. So, we just substitute, substitute the value of m. So, it will become 5 squared minus 3 over 5 po. So, to simplify, 25 minus 3 over 5. And then, sub, um, subtract nyo lang sa numerator. 25 minus 3 is equal to 22. And then, denominator, copyin lang. It will become 22 over 5. Or, kapag um, transform siya into a mixed number, it will become 4 and 2 fifths po. Ayan siya. So, again, it's your choice if you want to um, convert the improper fraction into a mixed number. Next, so ito another example lang naman siya. Ayan, substitute nyo lang si x. Ayan, so x is equal to 7. So x plus 4, ayan po siya. 7 plus 4, um, 7 minus 3, and then 7 plus 4. Okay, so sinubstitute ko pa lang dito si value ng x. Ayan po yung magiging answer natin. Okay. So, simplify nyo lang yan. 7 plus 4 is 11. 7 minus 3 is 4. And then, yun, tandaan si 4. And then, 7 plus 4 is 11. And then, 4 times 11 is 44. Kaya naging 11 over 44. And then, um, since pwede siyang masimplify pa, di ba, kapag nagsisimplify tayo ng fraction, is kinukuha natin si GCF. So, ang GCF nila, obviously, is 11. So, 11, divide nyo sila sa numerator and denominator. So, it will become 1 fourth na lang po. Ayun na yung final answer natin. So, ito, ganyan din siya. So, hindi ko na siya i-explain kasi ganun lang din naman. Same way lang kung paano natin sinolve yung ibang problem. So, substitute si value ng x. And then, ayan po yung answer. You can um, have your own solution para ma-check nyo kung tama rin yung sagot ko. ba? Malay nyo, mali yung sagot ko. So, pwede nyo rin ma-check yan kung talagang tama. Okay? So, ayan po siya. So, 9 plus 3 is 12. Then, 9 minus 5 is 4. So, 12 divided by 4, pwede pa yun. It is equals to 3 po. Okay? So, ganun lang yung pag evaluate natin ng rational expression. We just simply substitute the given values to the variables po in order to simplify the given expression. So next, yeah. A rational algebraic expression is defined for all real numbers for which the denominator is not equal to zero. So it is undefined when its denominator becomes zero. So diba, um, as what I said a while back, um, the denominator should not be equal to zero because it will become undefined. But this time, um, yun, mas, yun, pagiging, um, sa pag-complex stage tayo, um, gagawin natin, we will be thinking of a value of any variable or any number that will make the denominator equal to zero. Okay? So, ang goal natin for this um, next stage is maging undefined yung given expression. So, maging zero si denominator po. So, yeah, find the values of the variables for which the rational expression is undefined. So, ayan siya. 
So, ito, we have negative 4y squared over y plus 2. So, ang, um, yun, isa lang naman yung variable natin dito, which is si y. So, we will think of a number that would make the denominator 0. Okay? So, ang naisip ko dito is negative 2. Okay? Bakit po? Kasi, di ba, negative 4 um, y squared, ayun, um, y squared is equals to, ayun, neg y squared is equals to negative 2 squared then. So, it will all so be equal to 4. So, 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. So, hindi naman natin kailangan pakailaman dyan si numerator. Si denominator lang yung kailangan natin maging 0. So, negative 2 plus 2 is equals to 0. So, ibig sabihin, kapag negative 2 ang ating y, ibig sabihin magiging? Um, undefined yung ating expression. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay? Next. Dito, ganun din. Think of a number. So, dito, kung mapapansin nyo kanina sa letter E, pa, um, negative 2, gagawin nyo dito is um, kung ano po yung kasama ni variable na ayan to, diba? Two, y plus 2. So, kung ano yung kasama niya, um, opposite lang, opposite sign of that number lang. So, ba positive 2 ang meron dito. So, gawin nyo negative 2. Okay? Para hindi na kayo mahirapan sa paghahanap ng um, value niya para maging 0 si denominator. So, sa next naman, ito, x minus 5 and x plus 4. So, hindi ko napakikialaman si numerator since si denominator lang ang kailangan natin maging 0. Okay? And then, yan. So, it's either, yan, ito, x minus 5 muna. So, pwedeng ang value ng x natin dito is x positive 5 po. Okay? Kasi since negative 5 to. So, ito, balik tarin nyo lang din yung sign. So, magiging negative 4. So, ito yung va um, possible values ng x natin. Okay? So, pwedeng x is equals to positive 5. Kasi pag sinabtrak natin yun dyan, magiging 5 minus 5. And then, dito naman, 5 plus 4 is 9. Pero, di ba, since 0 na dito, um, imumultiply pa rin natin siya doon. Since parenthesis yung ating, um, yun, yun, yung nakalagay dyan. And, di ba, pag parenthesis po is a multiplication po. So, 0 times 9 is 0. Di ba, any number that we multiply to 0, it will always be equal to 0 po. Ayan siya. So, ganun din kay negative 4 pag sinubstitute natin. 0 din ang ating magiging denominator. So, reminder po, uh, si 0 po dito ay dapat nasa denominator, okay? Para matawag natin siyang undefined. Hindi po pwedeng si numerator ang maging 0, tapos si denominator ay may values. Kasi ibig, uh, ibig sabihin po nun, kapag ang 0 is nasa numerator, um, yun, equal to 0 siya. So, hindi naman yun yung goal natin dito. Ang goal natin dito is maging uh, undefined po yung given expression natin. Okay? So, yun lang siya. So, actually, yun lang po iyon. Okay? So, that's all for today. Thank you. So, again po, uh, wag po kakalimutan yon. Lalo na yung sa evaluating of rational expression and then making the rational expression undefined po. Okay? Siyempre, dapat alam nyo rin kung paano mag-identify ng rational expression. So, kapag polynomial siya, automatic it is also a rational expression. So, that's all for today. Yun. Thank you and I hope you learned from this discussion. So that's all.